All right, got another match to uh, Pain Dreadful Domain deck. If you look at that last match, I, if I think of like hold out ally strategies to draw 10, I probably would have won that, but hindsight is 2020. Oh well. well. Maybe, I don't know, who knows what I've drawn 10 cards or just 5. But I had enough mana to do like whatever I needed to do, you know what I mean? So, uh, I'm going to keep this hand fine. I think my opponent's on like a blue white control deck, so it'll be an interesting match. I don't really have like anti control stuff, I would say. I, being a control deck, it's really interesting. I have like slaughter games, I think it's my anti control guard. Is resolves. I don't know why it wouldn't, really. but I mean, I could see it like not resolving. Um, uh, in an island, besides my hand being like red spells, the Durian Flames, I don't think it's gonna kill anything right now. The Flames will eventually kill my opponent. Interesting, maybe Vase of Zoria's Charm. That's that's very desperate. <laughs> I don't want to play just like a 5-5, five five, so I'll just like ramp for a, you know, a red source now. The next turn I can start like, you know, play Wanderers and stuff and get the maximum value out of it. I guess my plan is just to jam all my threats. And exhaust your counter spells, so here we go. <laughs> like I don't have like discard spells, or I only have like four counter spells main deck for myself. Okay, you resolve resolve. I must have like an answer to it for something. Like a wrath, like just a wrath would be fine, or like a banishing light, something like that. I think my best spells in this deck were things like Wild Streams, where I just get redundancy over and over. I think we should get Azorius Charm. Which is fine. I mean, like, Emily Angler, okay. I can just, now I can just, like, Dreams this back. Um, and the Growth. Like I said, just a bunch of redundancy here. But, like, Nice little restock, literally restock. Um, uh, I resolve this wander again. Cool. Um, I'm gonna try the main pit. Try the super impulse here. I'm just gonna keep jamming threats. I think that's the best course of action here. I 
Good analysis, okay. I'm looking for. I think. I think it's just about to get wrath here. Just fine. They can just like resolve uh, the Barada conjecture and travel play by opponent. He just gets through. I guess I'll just keep taking Wanderers. <laughs> we'll just keep playing Wanderers. I'll just, like, save the conjecture for the very last moment. Although they seem to be really well prepared against, the, like, my creature onslaught in general. I mean, they are a blue-white deck. I hope they are. I hope they're good against Green. I guess you're just spending the cash here. You're just gonna like play a big uh, decree? This guy that crazy? Oh, just play your offers. Okay. That's fine. This is perfect. Now I can, like, blow up their land and then play the Conjecture. Ooh, Allied Strat. If they had a banishing line here, that'd be pretty good. All right. Oh, another council. That's pretty good. Um, I will point here. <coughs> You can't really counter this. It's kind of a triggered ability. I'm just going to throw out these allied strategies here. Just to, like, kind of bait another counter spell. I don't really care if it resolves or not. I have a bunch of worldly councils. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll just cultivate, I guess. Just to pull more lands out of my deck. Actually, I do need mountains. Actually, I need a ton of mountains. <laughs> Decree. Okay. I right, luckily I have the radiant flame. I was about to discard it. Now I don't have to. I have the full 20 in my hand when uh, this conjecture goes off. My hand's actually really good for, for this uh, conjecture turn. Oh, he's going to Azorius charm these guys to gain 6 life. Okay. Interesting. Unfortunately, I don't have enough red mana to, like, do all the things I want to do. The 
this turn. So I think what I'm going to do is start with the wild, the radiant flame. Then he'll just cap. He'll just counter this part. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'll just start doming my opponent. <laughs> Unfortunately, the copy doesn't really do anything. Like it's uh, you don't really cast copy spells, so nothing really happens there. <gasps> He's gonna try to counter it. Is he gonna power? Is he gonna try to power sink me? Ooh, tricky guy. Um, I'm gonna just look for a. It's a, it spends less mana to look for a um, a evasive action here. Okay. I mean, these bit said to spend the same amount of mana, honestly. Double action. I can't believe you tried to power sync that though. <laughs> it seems really silly because it doesn't do anything. The card doesn't actually do anything, but I have to counter it or pay for it or something. I guess I just kind of paid for it, honestly. Um. Now this is trick. My man is kind of like tied up a little bit. I could just wildest dreams back. I think it, I think the I think the play is a wildest dreams back a bunch of cards and just like try not to die next turn. I can get back conjecture and radiant flame first half. Oh wait, I only have four mana. I'm sorry. So I guess I can only get back two cards, so I'll probably get Conjecture, Radiant Flames. Okay, I just hope I don't die this turn. <laughs> I don't die randomly somehow. It's funny, I just didn't have enough mana, which is weird. Yeah, it's pretty easy attack here. I need to kill these tokens. That's like the first step. Um, and another decree will kill me. I can't really counter the triggered ability. So. I guess I'm just trying to, like, conjecture. Um, I already have a worldly count. I don't need any, I don't need any more cards. So I'll just get the evasive action. Like I said, I'm dead to another. I'm pretty much dead to another uh, decree. Yeah. Sure. But I have no instant way of killing killing creatures in the main deck. Yeah. Let's see, I would have. I would not have found anything. Okay. All right. Um. So Rage of Flames bad. Good. I like Starstorm against the token strategies. Although Displacement Wave could be just as good. But Starstorm is instant. I like Slaughter Games. Let's, let's start with Slaughter Games. <laughs> let's just start with me playing Slaughter Games. Um, Will of Water doesn't seem as strong. Uh, because if they have like just creature hate. But I don't know how much I'll keep back in. 
I like all the draw spells. I do just need to keep some way to like win the game. <laughs> like I might have like too much random stuff. Like I'm I'm pretty fine with just like doping my opponent with all this Kvalara for the rest of the game. Oh right, yeah, I'm not gonna maybe I shouldn't have boarded any sort of like future hate. If anything, I'd be the space of wave. I just don't know what to cut. <laughs> Maybe I do cut, like, Cultivate. They just kind of like, no, I mean, the mana ramp is really good. <laughs> the mana ramp is, like, really good. I guess I could trim, like, some win cons. Like, Legacy Weapon, just getting Legacy Weapon down seems really strong when I'm able to do stuff. I, I don't know what else to cut. Maybe I have too many Slaughter Games on my Um, uh, I don't know. I think I just kind of cultivate. It's the only card I can feel like cutting. I feel like cutting. Try that. Um, uh, I guess it's fine. <laughs> I draw rampant growth. I could potentially turn three slaughter games. Alright, I need a hit a land drop. Or like a rampant growth or something like that. Actually, just a land drop. I would just prefer a land drop. I'm actually going to counter this. It's just really annoying. It's actually really annoying to deal with. If I don't make this land drop, so be it. I also negated that. Alright, now I need to make like a, a swap draw. Or I need to like, I need a lot of help for slaughter games actually. I need like a cultivate. Alright, that works. Alright, Mimicrad not really helping Worldly Council, but it's okay. Ooh, they missed the land drop. That's big. Um, uh, Aldo's tree. Heck. I already have a slaughter game. So I mean, I really can't cast the slaughter games. They're trying all the councils. Are they gonna really try to counter this? Interesting. Okay. In these control matchups, you usually just want to like draw cards or draw lands. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, forest draws are not bad, but I feel like I can do better than this. But if I draw a mountain, then I get the slaughter games away uh, an important card. I get to look at my opponent's deck, see what I'm dealing with. So, I have like three mountains to draw. I guess Cascade and Cataract to be a good draw here. Otherwise, I can just bide my time. I don't. There's not much going on, so I don't need to like do anything. I have double negate too for like whatever my opponent decides to do. Okay, I, I just raw dog the swamp. Nice. Let's go for win cons first. The Creek of Justice is so hard for me to beat at at, at my current state of my deck. Just top deck that swap, man. <laughs> All 
right, decree of justice. They have one in their two in their hand. Jeez. Okay. Just get a little snapshot of this. Uh, they had, see, look, oh, look at all this like anti creature stuff they have in their hand. Uh, one, two. Yeah, their hand was like so anti creature right now. Um, so the only other win condition for them is like planar outburst, I guess. Chromos Vengeance, Wing Shard, so I might as well just board all my creatures. Do they have a counter spell in their hand? No? Okay. <laughs> I guess their only other win condition is to try to draw me out of the game. This is so stupid. Slar Games is so silly. Oh, they have an Urza's Factory. That's a win condition. They have one in their hand, too. Okay. I don't have any... I have I have legacy weapons for that, though. Definitely have a legacy weapon. And all they have is, like, the two Chromos Vengeances in their deck. Man, they have a lot of uh, creature hate. Excuse me. Is charming. Yeah, they're just drawing all the cards at this point. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna get rid of Planar Outburst and then like deal with the uh, Versus Factory in my own way. They have no counter spells in their hand. Now they're discarding. Part of the vengeance. Like I said, I'm just gonna nuke the win cons. Ripley. So their hand now is. I'm gonna take another screenshot. You always take screenshots of your opponent's deck when you get the opportunity. Snipping tool. All the creatures, so this thing is really bad. But I have a bunch of negates to back it up. They have two more rats on their deck, and the, the Urza's Factory is the only thing that's really bothersome. Um, but I think I can just like block all the tokens. And I have a legacy weapon in my deck somewhere. Just immediately pops it. I'm down on time too, I need to like kind of play a little faster. I have to deal with four different kill spells in their hand. Man, they have so many immolating glares. They have like a set of immolating glares in their deck. It's a strong card. I mean, I don't blame them. Conjecture, we're not really not doing anything right now. <laughs> um... I'm just doing this so I can like use my negates and I can buy them back with the uh, conjecture. Like, oh, who uses wing shards first? I think or in letting glare. Do you have a negate or just the other glare? I wish I had another mana to punish this. 
If anything, I should have just like let it die, then it'll play the conjecture. I've had the gate up or something, I don't know. That's two glares down. They still have two uh, wing shards. This only hits for four. But they don't have a ma I'm a actually three. I don't have a Malinor planes. I think their hand is just like wing two wing shards, which is a bunch of nothing. I kind of have to play around that. Ally Strats is not bad. Um, only draws three cards though. All right, cultivate will help a lot. Basically, we'll just find the rest of the colors. I'm not going to attack. I don't have any defense for my Wanderer. Also, I can just start blocking tokens. I might start making tokens. I can start blocking them. It really needs a conjecture to resolve, actually. So I hope they don't have a counter spell. They could have drawn one in. The oh, they didn't. Okay, so I gate first. I'm gonna ramp it, go through another mountain. I want as many red sources as I can get. Still not trying to attack. They have double wing shards in her hand. I'm starting to think I don't need like three slaughter games in my deck in any form or fashion. It just kind of soothes adding his tokens into them. In an attempt to like slowly try to win the game. Because the early win condition right now is the Urza's Factory. Which does kind of do some work. But I don't have to ever attack again. Actually. Um, there's a lot of things I can get back. I can get back the Travel Flames to try to dome my opponent a bunch. Or I can get the Ally Strategy to try to draw a lot of cards. Because I'm kind of down on cards here. I only drew an island. Um... A big turn. I think I'm going to get the ally strategies, actually. The problem is, do I draw now or do I draw, do I draw later? I think I'll draw when I can get the conjecture off. Because my opponent doesn't have any way of dealing with conjecture at the moment. There's actually nothing in their deck that I saw that can actually deal with this card. So, I'll just draw 10 cards next turn. <laughs> or at least 5. They have to have a lot of counter spells, but I have my own negate. They didn't make a token either. That's kind of loose. Okay. Right, I'm gonna draw ten cards. <laughs> I just said it's so casual. I'm just gonna draw like ten cards. <laughs> All right, kind of whiff there. I got another conjecture. That's not bad. All right, there's another. There's an obelisk. Another tribal flames. I might make my mountain drop here. All right, I'm just gonna just dome my opponent. For the rest. I have a bunch of negates, like I said, and the two of their cards are wing shards.
I don't even need to negate these spells, but I don't want to descry or anything. And I have a billion more counter spells for this next Tribal Flames. So. Alright, there we go. I don't know what he's trying to cast here. Wing shards, sure. <laughs> this is a waste of time. This is actually just a literally waste of time. <laughs> he's casting a bunch of wing shards. I've already have six. He's kind of just wasting his own time at this point. <laughs> okay. Um, I just wanted to show off there. I have a hot take. And I think the answer is to just play all tribal flames. What, what, what like he had so much like creature hate, so we just didn't play any creatures. I think I could like win the game with that way. And then I could play like I think Star Storm would be better than Displace and Wave. Or I could like make a mix. I could just like mix them up. I kind of miss having that cultivate here. That was really important. I really, I honestly like missed a bunch of land drops. I don't know if I need three slaughter games because slaughter games while the streams was pretty funny. It's very scary to not play any creatures and only have tribal things as win condition, but I don't think they can deal with that in any way. I'm not sure, but I'm not really sure what's better, Star Storm or Displace a Wave. I'm actually not really sure. Um. Honestly, it's probably just Star Storm. It's an instant. It's an instant I can get back with Conjecture. I have too many sorceries to get back. I really like to play the Slaughter games, though. I always have the Obelisk to win, win the game if I need to. Um, the, thing, the good thing about Star Storm is that it cycles, so I can like, just have that. This is fine. I can. I think I just beat it with like tribal flames. I think it's it's just super dicey. But the way his deck was constructed, it was that like he just had all creature hate. I only have four creatures in my deck. This is a pretty decent game, actually. <laughs> uh, okay, I could definitely mulligan his hand. F seven. <sighs> this is a dicey one. I'll, I'll keep this one. I have green, and I could like probably try to rip a uh, random growth, or if I draw a third, I can just cycle this. I can imagine the the, the matchup being really slow, so okay. I can draw. Like if they somehow surprise me by like splashing from a more side, like they they got it, you know, you got the game, man. You also might see like a really aggressive, um, not good. <laughs> Really aggressive, like, counter spells on my, uh, land tutors. They definitely... Ooh, they missed the land drop. But so did I! <laughs> Might be an exciting game. Look, I can just discard Legacy Weapon with a uh, Great Bigger. Okay, great. That was a great draw. It was a great draw because I made a land draw. <laughs> that's the only reason that's a great draw. Man, what did they keep? They must have kept a bunch of negates in their hand. Not like this. You never want to see games end like begin or end like this. I'm not just saying that the game's over or whatever, but I'm making my land. I'm starting to make my land drops. Now I get to cycle some cards too. Man, they still missed the land drop. 
cycle this. Okay, I found a negate. That's sweet. I can just play a really patient game where I could just like keep up uh, mana for my negate. Start trying to like draw into some stuff. Like, I can just, like, wait for, like, seven mana to try to cast this ally strategies. I mean, it's only for two, actually. It's really funny how bad it is. Okay, I can protect his cultivate for sure. Cultivate's really strong right now. <laughs> Back. So I'm going to get a mountain swamp. Swamp so I can cast the slaughter games if I draw it. I'm going to play the totem, which is fine. It means I get to resolve basically the, the legacy weapon. <laughs> I basically get to resolve, resolve the legacy weapon, because it'll just blow up lands. And I have at least two char two white tw charges here. There's no, like, one mana counter spell here that could, like, stop me here. And now I, I do the white source there. Alright, legacy weapon... <laughs> this is the biggest punish for <laughs> missing land drops ever. Turn eight legacy weapon. This is rough, for my opponent. Though they just they missed a bunch of land drops. It's never fun. It's never fun for one person. It's gonna be fun for me. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna start blowing up lands. I mean, that's the only thing I should do, right? That's all I need to do, start blowing up lands. Alright. Unfortunate for my opponent, but... Them's a break, that's magic, really. 